we have an application here that has two buttons. One displays a toast welcome and the other hello. Let us look at the design. So we just have two simple buttons. The welcome has an ID welcome btn and hello has an ID hello btn. When we go to the code, it is just as usual. We have our fan view by ID and then we have our click listeners on the buttons. If you noticed, this is Java, but I am using var. That is because I am using the project Loombook library. I did a lesson earlier on it. You don't need to use it, but it is fun when you use it for Android. If you are not using project Loombook, you can just write button, button and button, button two. Now to use view binding, we would have to enable it in our build.gradle. I am using Android Studio 3.6 and you need this. You need Android Studio 3.6 and the Gradle plugin 3.6. If you are using the Gradle plugin 3.6, you would use this method. But anything from 4.0 and above, you would use this method. In this current lesson, my Gradle plugin is 3.6. So I would use the former method. View binding and then inside enabled with a value true. So we can sync the project and then we can start. When you enable view binding, it will create view binding objects for each layout. We have a layout called activity main. So an object called activity main binding would be created. Now we will call inflate. Inflate will return a binding object. If we had a layout called activity login, then an object called activity login binding would be created. The binding object created is in line with the name of the layout. Binding is just added to the end. The root of the layout can be gotten by calling get roots on the binding object. Now that we have the root, we can set content view and that is what we need. Set content view will make it active on the screen. From here, we can access the views. As you can see, I can access hello btn and directly call set on click listener. I can also access welcome btn. And it works as good as before. I didn't need to call find view by ID on every single view. This is how to use view binding on Android 3.6. If you want to stop a particular activity from having view binding, you can call view binding ignore and set it to true. I will put a link below for more information on view binding. Are you an Android developer or a Java developer? We have a course here on Udemy where you can sharpen your Java skills. Most times people who begin Android development have issue with programming because they haven't understood the core concepts of Java. In this course, we would use animations and real life concepts to explain object-oriented programming concepts in Java. Do check it out. You are sure to enjoy it.